All right, guys, here we go. Today, I'm gonna do something I've never really done before. And that is a zoom in on a Value Village purchase that I picked up today. Well, not today, what's that? A couple days ago, but anyway. Um, this was, this is a Think Center 58P. <clears throat> Let me tell you, for thirteen ninety nine, this is a pretty darn nice system. Just flipped over here. Get an idea of the I/O and back of the system. So you can see we got the uh, audio. You got a serial port, PGA. Display port. You got yourself six USB and an eSATA, which is sweet for expanding your storage right there. And uh, you know, a thing you can do with this, just a tip, there's a lot of these um, uh, PVR expanders that use this type of plug. You can pick them up at Value Village sometimes for a song. They make great, you know, one terabyte storage. And they'll store just like a hard drive. They're, they are a hard drive, essentially, with some special um, features. And they're, of course, is your Ethernet. I believe it's a gigabit power port. There you go. A couple of uh, expansion cards for low half height expansion. I put these little, uh, what do you call it, furniture uh, things on here. The badge is pretty ripped up. But it is from, I think it was the year. I know it's, pretty sure it's 2008. There's the machine type. A I U. 6234. But anyway, the model is a um, Think Center 58, M58P, that's what it is. So, <clears throat> the cool thing about this is it has these little side buttons. When you push them in, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but actually, it's able to do that. Sweet. You can pop it open. And the great thing about these old Think centers is that they are toolless. You can pretty much do everything in here without any tools. And at the very worst, you might need a screwdriver, but <coughs> excuse me. In my case, I have not had a trouble. Now, the one problem I discovered about this system is it didn't come with a um, SATA cord that would run from under here underneath this hard drive. There's a there's only two SATA two SATA ports. So it limits the expandability of the system, but <coughs> excuse me. You can you can upgrade it to eight um, uh, gigabytes of RAM. I believe it's a core two duo from 2008, whatever, you know, it's decent. Um, you know, I guess probably the biggest weakness would be the fact that, you know, it doesn't have the uh, graphics card, but it does have expandability. You could put one in, but that's probably the weak, the biggest, you know, the weakest link in the chain, so to speak. But, you know, for access, great cooler. This thing is amazing. Um, yeah great cooler great design how they've set up the cooling the uh, way the way it uh, flows the air and this uh, um, it's a bit you know proprietary the power supply but otherwise pretty sweet little system and I just tucked this wire under here so we're not gonna bother with the uh, optical drive <coughs> I could but 
I guess there's an intrusion intrusion switch here indicate that's been opened but anyway so that's it that's uh that's what you get for 13 99 pretty sweet and uh 13.99 canadian dollars sweet system so i used it uh set it up tried it out it's not too bad of shape either it's not scratched to hell just the badge on the back but you know i tried it out uh, you know, it's like it's not the fastest computer, but it's certainly solid. And you know, with uh, with a if you add a um, a uh, graphics card, if you can find a half height graphics card, this thing would be sweet. I never find that the the um, CPU is the issue with most of these systems. It's really the for me anyway, my experience, for what I use computers for. It's always the graphics card. That's the challenge. Anyway, for a 2008 system for $13.99, 14 bucks, I figure that's a pretty sweet deal. That's it. I'm gonna upload this thing. I'm just pumping out the videos these days. <laughs>